What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I've been thinking about this pretty much all weekend. Um, Cody needs to step it up in the promo department. He needs to step it up in the intensity. He needs to step it up just in general when it's relating to The Rock, Roman Reigns, and the Bloodline. Because right now, storyline-wise, the guy's getting cooked. Seth has been getting cooked, Cody's been getting cooked, and The Rock is the one cooking them. It's not even Roman at this point. It's literally just one guy cooking up Seth and Cody. Simple as that. Now, some people can say, well, The Rock has so much leeway to say what he want on social media. He also has a lot of we uh, leeway to say what he want on, on WWE television. Well, here's the thing. If The Rock is given that much leeway, I do think if I'm WWE and part of their creative team, Triple H, I would allow Cody and Seth to have a little bit more leeway in this particular feud. Not saying that you have to curse every five seconds to get your point across, but there needs to be some type of intensity, especially for Cody if he's quote unquote trying to finish his story and he's fed up with the bloodline and their shenanigans. There needs to be a lot more intensity with him. If you guys remember a few weeks back on Monday Night Raw when Paul Heyman came up there with the the JAG uh, police or whatever they were supposed to be, uh, off-duty police or whatever, and the intensity he had at the end of that show and what he was telling Paul Heyman, if, you get, if anybody steps forward in this ring, I'm going to crack you with this chair. You know, him saying, I'm coming after the bloodline. I'm hunting them. What happened to that? We, we, there has been no hunting. He has not went on a, uh, a hunting trip for the bloodline. Nothing. Yes, he got his slap back, but that's it. Me, personally, I feel like that was good. They were heading in the right track. But they didn't really expound on that. And I get it, Cody's trying to go this nonchalant, I'm not watching these 20 minutes, I'm not checking out these promos, whatever, whatever. But I think you can't go wrong with Cody having some type of social media presence and be like, you know what, I've had it. Tune in tonight on Monday Night Raw. I'm going to air out everything because The Rock's not telling you the full story. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let y'all know. I'm going to have my own concert tonight. We're going to have fun. Since he wants to mention my family, let's start talking about your family, Rock. Something like that to get people all oh, what Cody got to say now. Because that's been the thing. People have always mentioned Cody's family and all this other stuff. And it's like he's so diplomatic. He's like, that's fine. I'm going to overcome the odds. Yada, yada, yada. It's like, bro, he's talking disrespectful to your moms. Like, what are we doing here? No more of the niceness. Like, that's that's the only thing I want to see different going forward. No more of that. That promo he had last week was very passionate. But once again, you're still getting cooked by a guy that's basically trying to end your story and has said it. If you lose this time, I'm going to make sure you never have another opportunity at the title again. He's trying to take everything away from you. You can be a baby face and still have feelings and emotions. You can get angry. That, that's a human emotion. I can connect so with someone more when they're upset and they're fed up and they finally fight back. They finally fight dirty. I can up, I can understand that. I can resonate with that more than someone just sitting up there where like, yeah, I heard what you said, but I'm not really worried about it. I'm focused. Bro, stop all that. Stop it. Stop it. I'm just being dead ass. Stop. Stop the diplomatic stuff. Stop the niceness. Get back to... I need to take these guys out one by one. And what I was hoping they were going to expound upon, and I hope he does this tonight on Monday Night Raw, I hope Cody, instead, if he's not going to be super aggressive and talk his trash, 
Go the smart route. Start playing the field. Start trying to create dissension between the Rock and Roman because you know it's there. That's all you have to do. They're two massive egos. It's very simple to pit them against each other. That's what you have to do. Pit them against each other. It's easy to say that's crazy that Roman calls himself, not Roman, The Rock calls himself the final boss. I thought we were supposed to, he was supposed to acknowledge the bloodline. Now he's just acknowledging himself. What's going on? Roman is the one with the championship. Roman's the one that's sitting at the head of the table. But these past few weeks, he's, hit, he's been sitting at the head of the table behind the owner. That's what he's been doing. Something like that to really spur it up. To make Roman start to question things. Play on Roman's ego. Play on the fact that he has to have someone acknowledge him. I would easily pick that apart. Like, we're talking about The Rock here. The Rock is acknowledging Roman because Roman's ego is fragile. Do you really think The Rock is really acknowledging you? We all know here. We all know that The Rock is only here to take to try to take away Roman's championship. And Roman doesn't even realize it. Roman doesn't even realize. He's only here to ride the coattails of the wave of Roman. He doesn't even realize it. Roman doesn't even realize that he's not even the number one guy anymore. He had to have The Rock acknowledge him to feel that way. But he, we know. We know. People are not here to see Roman no more. They're here to see The Rock. That's what it is. Something like that, just to play it up, to get Roman pissed, to, to, to create that dissension. If you're not going to talk trash, you need to have a strategic idea to help yourself in these matches that you have at WrestleMania. Simple. That, that could be his way of taking down the bloodline, planting seeds of doubt. He did it with Jay. He got Jay to, to pretty much leave. Plant Siege use his talking ability to get someone to start questioning things. He could do the same thing with Solo. Solo's play, Solo is a non-factor anymore. Jimmy, you're, you're a joke. They don't care about you. And Paul, Paul's a leech. As soon as Roman loses, when I beat him, guess what? He ain't going to be around for you, Roman. Like, this is what you need to do. Plant all the doubt and uncertainty. Simple. That's it. Right? I don't, I don't, that's just how I would do it. You don't have to have the wrestlers. You don't have to have Cody cursing a lot. But it would be cool if he got angry. He needs to be angry tonight because The Rock has mentioned his mother in a disrespectful way. He needs to be pissed. He needs to send shots at The Rock letting him know why it's not going to go down the way he think it is. And then when he has, Cody has his interaction with um with Roman Reigns on Friday night this week, he needs to play the field. He needs to sit up there and try his, try to pit the Rock and Roman against each other. Because I don't think the Rock is going to be there. This is the perfect time to do it. I hope they do something of that nature. I hope they allow him to be a little bit more aggressive because right now it's not looking too good for him. He's he's looking like a joke. He is. He's looking like a, a sap, a loser. That's how Cody looks. And I want him to complete, uh, complete his story, but it's kind of hard to buy into someone when they keep getting disrespected, their family keeps getting disrespected. His dog has been disrespected. They're trying to disrespect your legacy and everything you've done. And then all of a sudden, now you just want to be nice. When at the press conference, they talk, Roman literally call your, your, <laughs> your dad basically a J-A-G, a loser. And then you got disrespectful. when you brought up his family. Simple. If they want to keep bringing up your family, you bring up theirs. Simple. Ah, I hope they do that, man. Comment down below. Let me know. What would you guys have Cody do in this situation? Going into Monday Night Raw and the weeks leading up to uh, WrestleMania. How would you guys 
have Cody's character be because right now in my opinion what they have him doing is not it's not equaling out to how the rock has been cooking him it's not so y'all let me know what y'all would have Cody do to kind of even the playing field a little bit do you guys like my ideas if you have any better ones let me know down below let's have this discussion and maybe just maybe they will allow Cody to be a little bit more edgier or at least use his brains more to try to destroy the bloodline from within something but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this man appreciate all the love support road to 150k and i'm still gonna be the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace